Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to uh, go outside of Japan, not too far, uh, to the island of Taiwan to look at a beer from uh, the Taiwan uh, Brewery, uh, Taiwan Beer, and it is this one. It's called Taiwan Beer Grape, and uh, I would might classify this as a uh, fruit beer, but on rape beer it's called a Radler or Shandy, uh, primarily I think because of the low alcohol content. Uh, Radler and Shandy uh, category is uh, for uh, what we might call very low alcohol beers. A Radler in German is a, a bicycle rider and bicycle riders may uh, occasionally need to stop for some refreshment and the Radler style I think think was developed for that very low alcohol uh, light style. Shandy, of course, is a very low alcohol uh, beer uh, lemon uh, mix, uh, popular, more popular in England, I think, than elsewhere. And this is produced by the Taiwan Tobacco and Liquor Corporation, which is a governmental or maybe quasi-governmental, I'm not really sure, uh, entity uh, which uh, produces a lot of uh, different varieties of uh, spirits and beer and of course tobacco as well. Some countries have or have had uh, organizations like this. Korea uh, where I once lived uh, had something like that. Um, but this is 2.8% uh, alcohol only and as they say claim here that has 6.5% uh, or more uh, fruit juice. Hmm. Not so much really. Um, and trying to get information about this wasn't terribly easy uh, but because it's not listed on the uh, Taiwan Tobacco and Liquor Corporation's website uh, where they uh, do tout Taiwan beer and that's probably the most famous beer that they produce Taiwan beer uh, I think it's exported to a number of countries certainly it is to Japan it's a very very light uh, pale lager uh, rate beer, 32 ratings, and the average is not too high, 2.2 out of 5. Uh, 4 percentile for all beers on red, uh, rate beer, and that's, yes, I said 4, uh, pretty low. Uh, 57 percentile for its style, which is uh, Radler and Shandy. Untapped had uh, 1,298 ratings when I checked not too long ago, and the average is uh, a touch higher, 2.67 out of 5. So, um, now, not listed on their website. Uh, let's see, what does it say? It says, let me read what it says here. Uh, brewed beer with Taiwan tropical flavor, the fusion of lager beer and uh, rich fruit fragrance. Brand new choice of beer. Hmm. Okay. So this is in their fruit series, and they do have a number of fruit beers. I, uh, I have a playlist of Taiwan beers. So I'll put a link to it uh, down below. You can take a look. And there are some other fruit ones, uh, most notably uh, lychee, or lychee, how do you pronounce it? I guess lychee. Um, uh, and uh, what was the other one? They made mango and pineapple as well. And this is, a, I think, a newer one, grape, or certainly I haven't seen this one before uh, recently. And the ingredients include barley malt, uh, grape juice, uh, formosa rice, hops, wine, additives, whatever that is, and grape flavoring. So grape juice and grape flavoring. Wow. So uh, it should give it a double hit of grape, I guess. Um, uh, Formosa rice. Uh, Taiwan, I guess, is, is famous for uh, high quality rice. And Formosa is the old name for Taiwan. It means uh, beautiful in Portuguese, which was the, uh, I guess, the original colonizers were from Portugal or at least uh, Portuguese was used as a kind of lingua franca in the area. Uh, uh, Portuguese were active in several parts of China and uh, around Asia as well. So Formosa rice. All right, well, enough about this. This costs 268 yen uh, at the store, which may be too much. Uh, $1.71 in US dollar terms and 1 euro 67 cents in euros. So. I don't know. Let's see about this here. So, uh, if you want, you can take a quick look at some of the other Taiwan beers I have reviewed, and uh, in general, not terribly high ratings for any of them. Okay, well, what do we got here? 
very light uh, reddish pink. Uh, mm, mm. It certainly, it looks like kind of a, a wine cooler or something uh, with about a finger of white foam. Carbonation. Very gentle. Okay. Okay, it does have kind of a uh, sort of a soft drink, grape soft drink uh, sort of nose. Kind of flat, though not really, uh, not really punching with the grape. Flavor is just the same, kind of airy. Uh, like puffed up sort of uh, fruit juiciness. Quite sweet. And it's not really a grape kind of sweetness. It's kind of a sugary sweetness. So it does have some barley malt apparently. Uh, almost undetectable though. Uh, mm. Formosa rice to lighten it up. Uh, yeah, I don't think it needs much lightening, but they certainly did make it even lighter than it would have been. Mm. Hops, wine. Yeah, so quite a mix here. Um, this in, in the uh, continuum of beer, beer, not beer, is edging over definitely into the not beer category. If you want to call it Radler uh, Shandy, which Ray Beer does, okay. But, uh, you know, that's barely beer itself, so. Hmm. Yeah, I have nothing much else to say about this. Uh, it is extremely light. Uh, it's sweet. It has a, uh, a very vague sort of grapeness to it. Uh, and I guess it would be great on a boiling hot day in uh, in Taiwan, but you know. Anyway, yeah. Uh, have you been to Taiwan? I went there in December last year for the first time. Very pleasant country. Uh, uh, I went to Taipei and Jufan, Jofan, uh, and I had a great time. Really uh, wonderful food. Uh, pretty nice people overall. You know, uh, very kind of friendly atmosphere uh, throughout and uh, I went to three different craft beer bars uh, Hit Cat with an unusual name Hit Cat Brewing uh, and actually it's not a brewery but uh, anyway I do have a video of that and uh, uh, Jean Men Z-H-A-N-G-M-E-N and, uh, and the final one was Tai Hu by far the best so uh, yeah, if you go to Taiwan, please do go to a craft beer brewery, especially Taihu, I think. Uh, and you can probably avoid these here. Uh, again, this is Taiwan Beer Grape, and it's a small can, too, 330 milliliters, which is, I guess, kind of merciful. So, uh, a Radler Shandy at 2.8%. So try it if you want, but I don't recommend it. And that is it for today. I hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.